to create podcast clips for Instagram stories and reels. In this video, I'm going to show you the quickest and easiest way to take snippets from your podcast clips and share them directly to your Instagram stories and reels. If you have a podcast and you're not promoting it on Instagram, then you are missing out on a lot of potential listeners. I'm going to show you how to do what I like to call the Stephen Bartlett method. Diary of a CEO is one of the biggest podcasts in the world. So in this video, we're going to use his method and create podcast clips for our own Instagram stories and reels. Now, by the end of this video, your podcast clips will look a little something like this. Well, I prepared very well. I didn't eat for like three weeks, so uh, I should be uh, I should be ready. Let's get started. For this, we'll be using Veed. Just click the first link down in the description. Now we're in Veed, click upload a file and choose your podcast clip. Then just give that a moment here to upload. Here is our very first step with following the Stephen Bartlett method. So you'll notice that he records all his podcasts for YouTube. So whenever he shares it to another platform, he needs to resize it. We're going to do that now. We're going to resize ours to fit both an Instagram story and an Instagram reel. Now they're both the exact same size. So what we're going to do is head over to settings and then beside size, click that arrow down. You're going to scroll down and we're going to choose Instagram story. Now, you might need to play around with the video position so it's centered how you like it. You can click, hold and drag the video in position and just play around with the corners and sides. When it comes to creating our podcast clips for Instagram, we want to choose the juiciest moment, something that's going to hook in our viewers and force them to watch the entire podcast because they need to know what happens next. And if you watch Diary of a CEO, Stephen Bartlett uses, for lack of a better word, clickbait moments. He'll take a soundbite from a guest speaker such as this. Let's be frank. Donald Trump was obsessed with me. The mayor of London wasn't somebody of my background, my faith. He wouldn't have responded the way he did, would he? And because we have no context regarding the statement, we the viewer are highly likely to click on the full video because we need to know more. We're humans, we're nosy. So that's exactly what we're gonna do now. We're gonna have a full listen through our podcast, find a sound bite that's going to grip and intrigue people. Once you've found it, we're then gonna head to our timeline, put your playhead at the beginning of that clip and click split. Now play it and then pause the video again at the end of that sound bite, click split, and now click on that portion of the video and you see here where it says download section, click on that. That is going to pop open an export tab and now you're just going to choose Instagram as your setting and click download section. You could do this for both an Instagram story or a reel. For your Instagram story, make sure your download section is less than 15 seconds and for an Instagram reel, I would recommend keeping it under 30 seconds max. So that is how to cut your podcast clips, but let's take it up another level. So we have our clickbait moment. Now let's style it so it's more visually appealing to the viewer. We're gonna add a title here, again, another chance to hook in our audience. And we're also gonna add subtitles so that they can follow along with ease. Lastly, we're gonna add images or videos for reference points. Firstly, let's add a title. So Stephen Bartlett puts the podcast channel name Diary of a CEO on all of his clips. That's to make the viewer's life easier so that they know what to type into YouTube to find the full episode. So your title could be your channel name. It could be used as another opportunity to grip the viewer. You could use a clickbait title. So for instance, I went to an illegal Chinese restaurant in Lisbon. True story. And the title that I used to promote that part of the video was I broke the law in Lisbon because it sounds more interesting and ambiguous. People would want to know what law I broke and if I got into trouble. So you get the idea. To add a title, we're going to go back into Veed. You're just going to put your playhead at the beginning of your soundbite and click text. And in here, we have a variety of animated templates. So we'll choose one of those. And then you'll see the text layers here in your timeline. Now, if the text layers are longer than your podcast clip, just highlight them all and then just push them over so it ends in time with the clip. We can then click on the first layer to open up the text panel. We can delete what's in there and just type out what we want it to say. You can then change the size of it and the color of it if you like. Then just do the exact same thing to the other text layers. And if you want to move your title to another part of the screen, just highlight all of the text on screen and then you can drag it around. Just be mindful of Instagram's layout. You want to make sure that your text is visible. Next, we're going to add some automated captions. So just click subtitles and then click auto subtitle. You're going to choose your language and then click create subtitles. And we're just going to give that a moment here to transcribe our audio. And then once it's done, just watch that sound bite back just to make sure it hasn't misheard any words you've said. And if that has happened, all you're going to do is just click on the word that's wrong, delete it, and just type out the correct word. Perfect. Once we've done that, we can then click on the Styles tab. Now in here, we can also change the font, we can change the size, 
We can change the text color, the effect color. We can click on effect, choose one of those, and then go back and we can click on animation. And then you can hover your mouse over each one of these here to see how they work and choose your favorite. Lastly, just keep that Instagram layout in mind. You just wanna make sure your subtitles are visible. Now, the last thing we're gonna do is add images and videos. So if you watch Stephen Bartlett's podcast, you'll notice that he overlays some videos just to give some context and points of reference. So we're gonna copy that too. All you're gonna do is click add media above the timeline and you can choose stock footage here if you don't have your own just click search and then type in whatever it is the one that you need however I do have my own footage so I'm going to use that I'm just going to click upload a file and select it now once that's loaded you're just going to pick it up and lay it over the portion of the video in the timeline that you want it to pop up on screen and if it's too long you can shorten the duration of it by pushing it over in the timeline and we can also adjust the size of the video so we can just pull on the corners and sides if you need to and if the video has audio just click on it in the timeline and then beside audio here in the left panel you can turn it off now we can export our podcast clip so just the same as before you're just going to click on that section of the video and click download section then you're going to choose instagram for your setting and click download section to share your podcast clip on your Instagram story, you're gonna open up Instagram, hold down your icon with the plus sign, and then click add to story. Now choose your podcast clip and click the arrow in the bottom right hand corner, and that's it. Next, how to share your podcast clip to Instagram Reels. Just click on the square with the plus sign up the top, and then down the bottom, you're gonna scroll over to Reel. Click on the photo icon down the bottom left hand corner and select your podcast clip. Click add, click next, click next again, fill out your podcast details, and click share. And that's it. That's how to create podcast clips for your Instagram Reels and Instagram Stories. I really hope you found this method helpful and I will see you in the next one. Bye.